I'm doing today. On this uh, gorgeous Saturday morning. Well, it's around noon now, I guess. It was nice this morning, really nice. Overcast, nice and cool. You know, <clears throat> we had a pretty pretty hot June and the beginning of, Ju of July, which is the middle of July now, was pretty warm. But it, I mean, for the most part, compared to last year, it, uh, it hasn't been that bad. Last year, all of July was just 105 every day almost. It hasn't been that bad this year, and it's really weird because other parts of the country, like up in Washington and uh, even up in like British Columbia, where my uh, buddy Steve on the How to Hunt Facts, How to Hunt page, uh, you know, he's even been talking about how hot it is up there. It's just, it's crazy. It's hotter in other, other spots where it's normally cooler, and it's cooler here where it's normally hot. Uh, it's still pretty warm, don't get me wrong. But anyway, I was just wanting to uh, talk about something real quick. Um, had some people asking about, you know, where I'm located at. And, and all I'm going to say, it's pretty easy to find. There's two lakes in northwestern Oklahoma. And I re re I've done, you know, research at both. Found sign at both. Had a sighting at one. But I'm not going to get into that. But people were talking about how there's no way that there could be anything up here. There's no, none of these creatures up here. And the reason why is if you look, I'm up, I'm walking across this dam. I don't know if you can see it, but let me zoom in. The lake is way, oh, I've got the camera set wrong. So the lake is way up there. You can see it in the middle screen. This is, a le this is the dam road that goes across the top of the dam. And uh, you used to be able to drive across it. It was way back there, that's where I started. And, uh, it was all the way across. You used to, it's two lane, um, not a big two lane. You can see the divider line here, the dot, whatever. And then you can see the road down there. There goes the car. Uh, but the road drops down below the dam. There's two roads. For some reason, they closed this off, uh, probably because they didn't want to have to maintain it. You know, over, over the years, it's going to get, you know, having traffic up, going across all the time, it's going to wear and tear on the dam. So they just eventually decided to close it down. Uh, you know, Lake Army Corps of Engineers still uses it for whatever, but anyway, the reason why people think there's nothing out here and or in western Oklahoma in general is because the state of Oklahoma, if you look at it on an aerial map, like a satellite image, it, it's divided right down the middle. I mean, almost right down the middle, which is I-35 goes north and south, and then there's I-40 that goes that divides the north and south, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about east and west. So the western part of the state looks like this. Really arid and dry. Uh, almost desert-like. Uh, this is pretty green right now, uh, but here in a month, not even that. I mean, the, the rains have started slowing down. It greens up really, really good, really pretty in the, in the uh, springtime, and then it just, just starts getting, you can kind of see down there that grayish looking brown grass, everything kind of turns that color because it just dies off. There's a lot of this. Sagebrush everywhere. But whenever you get to bodies of water, like this lake, or creeks or rivers, whatever, you get this. Sorry I'm breathing heavy. I haven't I gotta get back out and do do more hikes because I'm just so out of shape. But this road curves off down here and goes into there's no campgrounds down that way, uh, but this you can hunt back over here. Now my research, or one of my, my areas, I don't I hate calling myself a researcher, or I'm not, I'm just an enthusiast, is on, now I've done some on this side, and there are some spots back over here where you can't hunt, most of this is hunting, but mine is over on the other side of the lake and back that way, back down towards where the water comes in, and it's fed by a creek. Uh, and then when this lake lets out, it goes into a river that feeds into a river system that goes into Oklahoma City. It just goes into several, a couple other lakes and then the city. So you can figure it out pretty easily where I'm at right now. Uh, but this is what I wanted to show was just that this is why people think there's nothing out here. Is because this is what you see when you drive out here. Is 
you're gonna see a lot of nothing. But once you get to water, you're gonna start seeing this. And sorry, I don't have my stabilizer. I left it in the truck. I really wasn't planning on doing the video. I was, just got to thinking about what some people were talking about online, and I wanted to kind of explain it. Um, and you know, it didn't make sense to me at all. It didn't make sense at all why, that there would be anything out here. And I, and I didn't intend on finding anything out here. I didn't intend on finding any sign at all. You know, you're gonna, you're always gonna see stick, stick, you know, leans and tree breaks and stuff from natural weather caused, uh, you know, issues with that. But um, there's gonna be a lot of natural stuff you're gonna see that you can confuse it as a big sign. But, you know, I was start, I started all my, my hikes and research, I guess, I hate saying research, but my investigations is what I like to say, I guess, was all based in, around that river system, the Canadian River, near uh, Oklahoma City, uh, El Reno, you know, they had the Chicken Man incident over there, I don't know if you, some of you might know what that, what that is, you can look it up, just look up the Ch Chicken Man incident near El Reno, and has to do with the oh, uh, squatch coming in and getting chickens out of the Left a bloody paper in on the door and they took it to the zoo and primatologist. And it is a, it is a coincide with the campgrounds back there but there is right down here there's a little cove right here and this is there's no electricity there it's just tent camping they got picnic tables and grills now the, on the other side of the lake way over there is where the, the there's a nice this is probably got one of the nicest campgrounds for an Oklahoma city or Oklahoma lake I mean, one of the nicest ones I've been to there's some really nice ones out there too but for this lake this lake has a kind of a bad reputation for being kind of shallow and something on this side of it um, I think when they this was a man-made lake and when they dug it out they didn't dig it deep enough and a lot of this there's a lot of sand over here even though you see a lot of trees there's a lot of loose sand and I think a lot of that washed into the lake or something after they filled it and there's been people dive off boats over here on this side now this cove right here is deep but we're going to go around this little jetty and there's a sandbar. It goes all the way to the back. And there's been people come out here on boats not knowing. Dive off the boat into that water and uh, not knowing it's only a foot deep and there's a sandbar there and they break their neck and drown. Uh, it was happening almost every year for a while. But anyway, the other side of the lake is, de is deeper and there's, you know, there's no issues there. Just They ought to put buoys over there and they just haven't done it. Uh, and then we had a flood. Was it last year or two years ago? It was uh, almost up to, I don't know if I can show it. Well, you can't see it, but you can see these yellow flowers. It was just under, on the bottom side of those. That's how, it was It was deep. This, that campground was all, you couldn't see any of the, those little tops, the white tops, you couldn't see any of those. It was completely covered. And then this, like I said, this lake lets out back here. You see, it, it's, and they've clear cut some of this back here. This is where the water lets out. It goes that way. Curve back. It goes east. But what I was saying about this. Whoa, I've been around a snake. Uh, I better view that camera. So, what I was saying about the east and west is uh, right down the middle. east side it's all trees and green and you know southeastern Oklahoma has all the famous sightings and that's where McCurtain County and Lafleur County have the most number of total sightings but we look at the map or satellite image in western Oklahoma and this is it looked like that it looks like that over there it's really not a lot of trees until you get around bodies of water so how do they got here I don't know 
know, I'm, there's so many different possibilities of how that happened or how that happens. Maybe they're coming and going. You know, some of you know what I mean there. Maybe they was already here and they're just stuck here. Maybe there's rogue ones that came through on these river systems and creeks. Because that's how they get around, is creeks and rivers. And they have to have cover. They can't, you know, people have talked about these prairie apes. You know, I don't, maybe. I mean, there's, I don't, I'm open minded to anything, but. Uh, to me, they gotta have cover. So, who knows? Anyway, I just wanted to talk about that real quick. So, sorry, I'm probably jumping all around here with the camera. I'm about halfway across this dam now, I think. I'm going all the way to the other side. I've never walked the whole thing. I'm going to today. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a good weekend, and I'm going to shut this off and pace here a little bit and we'll see you guys on the next one. God bless guys.